happy Thursday. I mean, it might be Wednesday, but we're going to show it on Thursday because the library is closed tomorrow and there's a training and we didn't want to be loud and us right. when this was taking place. But today, anyway, it's our Thursday tip video, regardless of what day of the week it is. And today we're going to talk to you about how to pay your fines without money. That's right. How could this be possible, you may say. And also, why are they talking about <laughs> fines again, you may say. It's an ever-present issue. Remember, I just want to quickly remind you why we do fines in the first place. It's, it's baby steps to real life. Mm -hmm. it's, it's responsibility and it encourages you. It's a tiny little bit of, of incentive to get your stuff turned in, to talk to us so you, you don't have to have fines. But if you do have fines, it's okay. Okay. Right. Remember, yes, we're not we going to judge. No, I've paid fines. I've lost books myself to Same. the public library. It happens, but when it does happen, you got to take care of it. And you might say, yes. "Well, I don't have, you know, fifty cents or a dollar or two dollars, or if you kept your book out for an entire year, ten dollars, twenty dollars, whatever." What? Well, we understand, and we are also flexible. We are, and and we can make arrangements. There's yeah. lots of options if you want to donate items instead of giving us cash. One, uh, Germex, a bottle of Germex is worth $5 worth of fines. Okay? It costs $5. $5 Just worth saying. of fines. Right. It really doesn't. You'll save some money there. Um, you might even have some at home. You can bring us. A box of tissues of any brand, also worth $5. Okay. Pretty good deal. Paperback book of any sort, as long as it is in good condition. Wait for it. Wait for it. Five dollars, also, also what? worth five dollars, and our biggest item, a hardcover book. Man, hardcover book, any genre, any age level. You can bring us kids' books too, as long mm -hmm. as they're hardcover yes. and they're in good shape. We can use them, and if you do donate books, we'll either put it in the collection if we can use it, or we'll put it in our used book sale. Um, yes. Yeah. So ten dollars awesome. in case you didn't get the miming. Yes. Ten dollars for a hardcover. And also, we recommend a lot if you have a couple of bucks and you owe us a couple more than that. Say you lost a book and it was like I don't know twenty something yeah. bucks. You can replace a hardcover book with another hardcover book. Right. Ollie's down the road has hardcover books for a buck ninety nine. Right. They have a great teen selection. We actually Good buy stuff. books from there to put in the collection all the time. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have any lying about your house that you think we we might find useful, drop mm -hmm. it at Ollie's because they have great prices. And for two bucks, you can replace a book that you lost that might have been twenty five dollars. Yeah. That's yeah. a bargain in any language. It is. So maybe not technically no money unless you have this stuff laying around at your house to just bring nice. and donate. But it's definitely less money than if you if you owe a lot because you lost books or you kept them out for a really, really long time. But, you know, a word of advice to those of you that are currently checking out books, particularly our freshmen, um, you have a student email. Did you know that? <laughs> you have an email you through do. your Office 365, and if there's anybody out there going, but I don't have an Office 365, you do. You do have one. We actually made a video about it. It's <laughs> way back in, you know, the history. We made a, a video about how to get into your Office 365. Yes. Um, if you don't know how to do that, then go back and watch our video, or you can come in and ask us, and we'll show you how to do it. And the reason we're mentioning that is because our system actually sends out reminders mm -hmm. to that email. It does. And it'll tell you when your book is due the next day. So if you get one of those and you think, I'm not going to have time to go to the library tomorrow, I'm going to be, I'm sick or I'm not going to be, my teacher's not going to let me go, you can reply to that email yes. and say, please renew my book. And I will every yes. time. So as long as we can see your name in the email there, yes. then we will renew your book for you and we'll send you back a new due date even. I do, you every know? time. Yeah. And you can also, um, while you guys have these wonderful devices, no. you know, that, that you use after school, <laughs> um, and you can download the Outlook app, and that is the mail program for Office 365. Download Outlook, put it on your phone, nice. log into it, and then when you get an email, you might get a little ding or a little notice or something on your phone. You'll go like, oh, hey, look, my book is due tomorrow, and just do it quick, please renew my book, reply to it, and, and, and we'll send you back a new due date. If you don't have that, then if you're a freshman, you can do it on your laptop. There's something else I was going to say about that. I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah. If you don't reply to that email or you miss it or some, you don't check your email on a regular basis, we also, the system, not us, has our name on it. It's not us. 
the system sends out an email every Monday to tell you if your book is already late. Sometimes it'll say you have a fine and your book was returned. If you'll read that whole email, to still owe it your book money. will have been returned, but it was a little bit late and they'll remind you of what you owe. So if you're yes. getting emails from us, you're not sure what they're about, um, read them. Read them. That's I'm going to start good with tip. read all the words yeah. and read not the, just some of the read words. Read the email and then if it's a renewal, reply to it. If it's just a fine, come down here talk to us about taking care of it. Yes. Also remember that fines don't prevent you from checking out books unless they're over $10. Okay. So if you, if you owe less than $10, you can still check out books. Yes. If you owe more than $10, you cannot check out books until you take care of that. Okay. So make sure you do that. We don't want you avoiding us or avoiding the library or thinking you can't have stuff just because you owe like 30 cents yeah, or 40 that's cents. That's, yeah. We don't want that no. to prevent you from coming to get books. No. So. All right. Well, Happy Thursday, wherever you are, and we'll see you on Monday with some book talks.